Okay, so we're done with the day one Google I.O. 2018 keynote, and it's time to take a look at what's new in Android. This is the Android P Developer Preview 2, the first beta version of Android P that you can get through the Android beta program. And a lot of interesting changes to get stuck into here, not least of which is this new gesture-based control system. This actually isn't enabled by default, but you'll find it pretty easily in system, gestures, and swipe up on home button. And you can just toggle this on or off. It is off by default. If you turn it off, you've just got the standard Android soft keys that we've known all the way back to Android Honeycomb. Turn it on, and this is the new way of doing things. So the old button setup hasn't completely gone away. You've still got a back button here in apps that need it, which for now is pretty much all apps. But you can also swipe up to get to your recent apps, and you have this new layout here. This actually is a combination of kind of your home screen and your recent apps. So swipe up again, this is just your app drawer. Uh, you occasionally will get predictive answers that show up here for things like contacts, maybe playlists in Google Play Music. Um, but this really is just designed to be an easier way to get to your app. So you've got recent apps up here, some predictive apps that Google thinks you might want to use down here, of course, the Google search bar as well. Swipe up and you've got your standard app drawer. This does mean that when you're in the home screen, it does take a slightly longer swipe up for you to get to the standard app drawer layout. So just a little bit of a different way of doing things. I think this is going to take a, a bit of time for muscle memory to adjust. Already I found myself tapping this empty area here where the old recent app key used to be with a lot of subtle animations that have been built out throughout Android, and it just gives the OS a little bit more of a lively feel compared to older versions. We saw some of these animations last time in the first developer preview. They've just been tuned up a little bit to give it kind of a more uh, dynamic sense, and uh, I think it's a, it's a decent improvement compared to where we were on Oreo. So there are new animations hidden sort of all over the place in this new developer preview of Android P, and it sort of points to Android P when it is eventually a final product, having sort of a different feel for what we're used to in Oreo. And you can see some of these here. So jump into the settings app when you're going from pain to pain. It's that sort of quick trigger animation. When you're jumping into apps, it's a little bit more dynamic than it was before, which is nice to see. Uh, some other new features, so we saw predictive answers advertised in the original developer preview of Android P, and now they're ready to go. You can uh, tell Russell here that you filed your TPS reports. Um, other notifications will be given sort of a minor tune-up, but not a whole lot different compared to what we're used to in uh, earlier versions of Android. A couple of other minor visual changes Google was talking about today. So the volume rocker now pops up this little menu here. This isn't entirely new. This was in the previous developer preview, but this now controls media volume by default. So if you've ever been blasted by a full screen video ad or a YouTube video when you open it up for the first time, it's now super easy to just control the volume before you get into that video, which is a nice change to see. We also have something new called adaptive battery, which isn't something you can really demo on video, but it is here in the battery settings page and should hopefully help Android to optimize battery life for the apps that you actually use while keeping the apps that you don't use from draining the battery. You also have new options to help you keep apps in the orientation that you want, whether it's portrait or landscape. So in locked rotation mode, when you tilt your phone around, you have this new control up at the top here and you can tap it and it jumps into uh, landscape mode just like that. This feature is a little bit buggy right now, as you can see, but uh, when it's fully working, it should be a nice way just to avoid having your phone constantly jumping between portrait and landscape mode. So there you go, very quick first look at what's new in the second developer preview of Android P. We've still got a few more months of preview builds before Android P is ready to go. We should expect that sometime around August. We're about a month out at this point from the uh, final APIs, which is usually the point at which Google says that it's ready to run on your main device if you're brave enough to install it. So that's it for now. Be sure to subscribe to Android Central here on YouTube for more from Google I.O. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.